I've got a great video for you today. We're going to be taking a look at the Nufi Air 75 version 2 with Moss Green switches. They are tactical, 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 tactile switches. This particular model took me a long time to get. Basically, I've been looking at it for about two months and I'd been on and off sales, meaning like actually available in that time. And I finally just acquired it to, uh, see if I like using it or not. And what's on the back? Uh, some basic information. All right. Well, that is kind of cool looking on the box. And let's open up. This will be the first time I take a look at it. I previously did look at the version one and thought it was okay. But um, the improvements to the version two seem like they're enough to uh, warrant taking a second look at. So you got some sticker art. It's very anime-esque. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know if they're into that waifu phase or whatever. Uh, I do like anime. Haven't watched in a long time since I had a kiddo. But, uh, you know, I still like the artwork, so it's cool. Uh, what else do we have in here? Basic specs. All right, let's keep this moving. So while I'm opening this up, this is a $150 keyboard. So it is quite a bit more expensive than um, well, many of the other keyboards I've looked at, especially considering its slim size. And here we got the USB-C to A cable. It is rubberized. Um, not sure I like the coloring. Then we have the keycap and switch puller. Again, it's got that teal green coloring. Okay, anything else in there? We got, well, there's something in here. Let's open it up. Open. Ah. The receiver and some extra keycaps of the different types that they sell. So just finest to detail. This will clip on to the cable so that it won't get lost, which is, well, it doesn't clip on that well, actually, but that's a nice little cute detail. Okay, and in the last one, you got alternatives for keycaps, which let's actually open up the keyboard so that that'll make a little bit more sense. It just comes in that little plastic sleeve with a plastic cover over top of it to protect it. And there it is. So you can change out the enter key to the green. So personal preference, right? Uh, the teal is fine, but I, I like the orange and the yellow, I guess. But the teal, not as much so. But that is their brand coloring. So, you know, you, you accept certain things. And, you know, it's got an escape key. I could go ahead and switch that out. And uh, let's do a keyboard explorer. So on the back, we got our USB-C port for plugging it in wired. Over here, you got off, wired, and wireless modes. And you got Mac and Windows. Let's go ahead and switch that to Windows so I don't forget. On the bottom right here, you can peel it off and expose your nice little metal slab on the bottom. Oh, that's translucent. Sorry, I went really ADD for a second. The, that is pretty cool. Now, you're just looking at the bottom end of the PCB, and it's not really that exciting, but it's kind of cool that it's translucent. Uh, the feet, the rubber on that is fine. Flip that up. That's fine. It's not great. Uh, I've been using the Kcron K3 version 2 for a little while, and that one's rubber feet seem a little bit better, but I would be using this at the flat, flattest, heh, mode so you know that's fine let's move that out of the way and there's the keyboard itself and oh that sounds nice we're gonna have to do that in the typing test to really get a look at it but it's a 65 percent and you know i changed my mind here's the kcron k3 it's the other keyboard i've been using so there they are right next to each other the Nufi, Nufi, sorry, I'm going to mispronounce it. I'm 
dyslexic and when something gets locked in my brain sometimes about the way something looks like how it should sound when it's spelled uh, it's gonna happen so the k cron is smaller slimmer skinnier than the new phi uh, just less bezeling around the edges so if you want a truly minimalist this is a little bit better while the air 75 takes up a little bit more space Let's just do this real quick. Yeah, the Air 75 sounds so much better. Um, keycaps are a different style. Uh, Really, not much wobble, so that's fine. A uh, little bit more in the K-Cron. I'm not really going to try to do this as a comparison one, but since I have it, I want to just kind of show it off for half a minute. Wow. I, I was actually looking at this going, so what's the big deal? Why is this one $150 and this one is $83? And <clears throat> I might be convinced. I might be convinced. Uh, sound plays an important role when typing, uh, so that is a definite reason. So the keycaps are double shot PBT, however they are not shining through. That is where the K-Cron actually has an advantage. And then we can pull off a keycap. Alright, there's the keycap. It is pretty standard. Single pin, two little pins, right there onto the PCB. And it's got north facing RGB lighting. And uh, I guess that's it. Wow. Um, that was really good. So over here at 54 words per minute, that was the K-Cron, uh, ver K3 version 2. And this was 65. That's among the best. Uh, the keycaps feel excellent. The sound is excellent. I could, I could just tell when I was typing it. These moss greens feel much better than the uh, Gateron Browns. It's just much more distinct. The sound is so much better. Oh man, am I about to almost double the price of a keyboard to get a much better one? Maybe. Well, let's take a look at the software. All right, so to set up the keyboard and customize it, you go to this web page. Newfi.com pages via usage guide for Newfi keyboards. And it's got gone are the days where you had to download a piece of software. Now it is all web interface. And it has some actually very good directions on here for how to go ahead and update it. So I'm going to just kind of scroll through it. But just know that I read through it. This is why I did it. So I'm not an expert, but it, it, got me to where I was pretty happy with it. So you go to the app and you do need to make sure that you're using a um, browser that is supported. Firefox does not support this web interface. So uh, uh, I'm using Edge because that's what I have. 
and oh man, it's been a little connect. Okay, once you have this specific file needed, it took me a little bit. You have to download a file, drag and drop, and then put into the paint, and then you can start adjusting things. Oops. And uh, I really don't want to mess with it because I'm pretty happy with my current keyboard layout, but it does allow for plenty of adjustability in here. Uh, that's not the proper keyboard. That's the proper keyboard. And let's see, you've got customize your rows, you got customize uh, lighting. Uh, I figured this out at one point and I just don't remember now because it's been a couple months and finally was working on this review and well, the the clip of this did not have any audio so i'm trying to figure it out again okay if i put that red ah, all my lighting just turned red Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo, click i can't click on it there oh well i can't figure it out for the life of me Hey, if you have this keyboard and you're watching this review and you figured it out, I'd love to know because all I can tell you is I can make solid colors for the whole entire keyboard. Now, it should be possible to do individual key lights. Uh, for the life of me, I just uh, cannot get it to do what I want it to do. Uh, but anyways, it has all the functionality for your macros, your matrices, and anything else that you want to do all right in this software it's for use to figure out um again i'm not really an expert on it but i got it to the point where i was happy with it which is one solid white color so that's just me okay we're going to do a gaming test unfortunately the software is not working which is my biggest downside of this keyboard i'm going to eventually try it on my desktop and see if i can just jerry rig it to work and just see if it's because of the other machine um, because this has the best potential of uh, the keyboards that I've tested like this for the slim profile. So it does have a lot more sound than like the Kcron, which is uh, one of the other slim keyboards I'm kind of comparing this to right now. But uh, Overall, it was just so much of a better typing experience that I'd call that kind of worth it. Of course, it doesn't help with my aim. This game is Black Mesa. It is the reboot of Half-Life. Run through. Don't remember where I'm going. Well, since we're here, this is my Azoth, one of the best gaming keyboards. It's wireless is almost identical to its wired mode. This is gonna be wired. Uh, it does have a Bluetooth or wired dongle, but uh, based on ratings, we're gonna get into that in a minute. Uh, if you're actually gonna game on it, you're gonna to want to have it hardwired plugged in on like a dedicated gaming keyboard. So we're gonna compare it wired uh, versus wireless. Um, realistically, Unless you're a pro gamer, you're not going to probably notice it, but Bluetooth, you definitely will. Just that kind of disclaimer. Yeah, I, I don't notice any lag. It, it just, it wouldn't bother me. There's, there's nothing, whoops, for me to complain about. Run! I'm kidding. Okay, we'll do a little bit more combat while I finish up talking about it. Uh, you know, overall, I like this better. I just need the software to work. And if I can't get it to work, this will be just a no-go for me because I, 
I don't like rainbow lights. I just wanted to have a clean, constant light. I can put up with the non shy through keycaps. All right, let's move on to um, how it scored. Okay, and now for professional reviews. This is ratings. They are, I find them fairly reliable, so that's why I'm kind of advocating for them. They do give you a certain number of free reviews, and this is the review of the keyboard. I'm not going to go through all of it because you should come here yourself, but it's well reviewed. It does really well. And then they compared it. Where is that on here? Sorry, I know I'm zooming through pretty quickly because I want you to come here and check it out yourselves. Ah, the Kcron K3. Now, I looked at the version 2. They're about the same size, but the Air 75 is superior, especially when plugged in. Otherwise, they're pretty similar overall, and they even compared it against the original Air 75. You know, uh, just quickly scrolling through, scrolling through. They've got typing tests, the qu typing quality. Now, I found the typing top quality not the best, but very easy to type on. Um, I like the Azoth better, but this was super easy to type on. It sounded good, and I could type quickly. So win, win, win. Um, they're not using the switches I used. It's fine. They got the latency testing. They got keyboard testing. You know, they got it all. So overall, I think this is the better keyboard. Probably either one would work for my use case, but if I'm going to type anything at all, this is the winner for me. Anyways, with that, I think I'm going to wrap up this video. I do thank you all very much for joining me on uh, checking out the Air 75 version 2. If you like my content, please hit that like button. If you got suggestions for me, um, both on ways to improve videos or things to, that you might be interested in me taking a look at, Please leave that in the comment sections down below. If um, you like what I'm doing and would like to see this channel grow, please think about joining me as a Patreon member or a YouTube member. But either way, I do have a Discord page if you want to talk about whatever. Mostly I'm into fan testing, so uh, that would be the main topic that uh, I know the best. Also cases. I'm pretty into computer cases. Anyways, I'll see you next time here on Computer Tech and More.